You do that yourself? Well, sometimes I let my children do it, actually. I think getting children to feed dead, frozen mice to birds is technically weird. Well, they're not frozen when I, when I give them to the birds. We let them thaw first in hot water. Oh, my God. Has one of them ever come back to life and then died in the boiling water again? No. It's bad enough for hawks to eat mice. Can you ask it politely but firmly to stop waggling the claw with the bell on? I, I think it's bad enough for, for hawks to eat mice, but I think, you know, the, the freezing, boiling thing is just uh, inhuman. It's just natural selection. OK, here's Mark Almond. I heard an awful story about him the other day. I'm sure it uh, can't be true. What are your three rules of life? Well, I have three rules, Ray. One, have a cup of coffee in the morning. Two, don't trust anyone. And three, floss. Shall we have some more from Digital Dave? Absolutely. <laughs> what famous people do you know? Uh, la. That's a tough one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the best thing is probably if I, I looked at my phone uh, and let it speak for itself. OK, here we go. Uh, ball Johnny, Ball Michael, Ball Zoe, Boycott, G, meant to scrub that actually, Brandreth, Carling, Curry, Edwina, Curry, Tim, Curries, Curry Favours, it's a humorously named uh, Curry House in Norwich. They, uh, they're British, actually. Um, they put raisins in them. Bloody awful, but, uh, but they deliver. Uh, Hamilton Christine, Hamilton Neil, Hamilton David Diddy. And it goes on, you know. Oh, soup for you. Thank you. Alan uses his contacts to help him organise fundraising events for good causes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Homeless. Oh. We're about to take a ferry to an island called Brian. That's because it's Brian Ferry. There he is, Brian. Uh, welcome to Norwich and Comic Relief. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't do that anymore. Um, but we're delighted to have you now. Uh, Thanks now, very much. Well, very nice to be here. Uh, now, we all know your contribution to uh, pop icono class and neatness, neatness in pop, which I know is something you feel very strongly about. But what people, not many people do know is, and I will be eternally grateful, because Brian here was the very first person to alert me to Tessas and Peps. Um, do you remember that? It was in a, a queue for a domestic flight. Oh, yeah. It's fine if you don't remember, Brian, but don't lie. It's comic relief. Are you going to be making a donation? Yes, of course. Yeah. Great. Can to get your checkbook out? Just uh, put a pen. I won't, I won't tell the audience what you're writing. You're listening to Alan Partridge and watching it. So, as I say, I won't, uh, I won't say the amount. So if I say it will buy you two microwave ovens, I mean, or three and a half Dyson vacuum cleaners, which again works because I know you're into neatness. There you go. There's one, uh, there's one actually put in oh, check, check card details on the back. Yeah, security. Alan is one of the few people who genuinely enjoys charity work. <laughs> but, um, oh, oh, all right, then I will show my bottom. Hooray! Hooray! It's a, it's a plastic bottom. It's a plastic bottom. So, 500 pounds to comic relief. No, no, we don't think that's good enough, really. Do we? No, no. I, I, I don't care. No, that's not real. what we rehearsed. No, we'd like to see the real well, thing. Well, you, we you can forget about that. No, get up. No, get away. No. 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 Please, no. Please don't knock my ass. Knock my ass. Please, no. <laughs> yeah. You have two children. Yes, uh, both unplanned. Um, and unfortunately, they do pick up on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me about your relationship with women. A friend of mine once said he liked his women like his parmesan, strong smelling and shaved. I don't agree with that, but I don't like hairy women. Mm -hmm. I'd say a good 50% or half, if you will, of my listeners do regard me as a, as a kind of radio boyfriend. Yeah. And, and they, are, they are women, yeah. as far as you can tell. Mary's on line two. Hello, Mary. Hello, Alan. How have you been? Very well, thank you. Very well. How, 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 are you, how are you? Oh, not so bad. Better at night time than in the day. Good. Did you get the doll? Yes, it was in reception. There was, there was a shoe missing. What? There was, there was a shoe missing. It's about... <gasps> Rather thinning hair, I seem to remember. Uh, oh, Alan. Looked like it had some sort of alopecia or something like that. Yeah, what? 
looked like it just looked like it was poorly on the head hair. It was mine when I was a baby. Really, that's that's, you, that's lovely. But you don't want to give that to me. Well, it's precious, and you're precious. Thanks. Is it on a TV theme tune night? No, Mary. You and I know that's Thursdays. Oh, I sent you a doll. I can't have home the theme to World at War. Thursdays. Bye. 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 What? I say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. You, 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 you... Ooh, let's have a bit of music. She was a bit of a character. Yeah, she, uh, Mary's uh, Mary's a regular caller. Um, she, um, I don't, I don't know if anyone thought she she sounded upset. Then she sometimes does this thing that's half laughing and half crying, and I can't quite tell the difference. So it's bloody weird. But um, you know, she she's uh, she's regular, she's reliable, and uh, she's she's free. I believe you're working on a new book. Yes, yeah, it's um, it's set in the future, uh, in the heady world of TV entertainment. And it's the year 3000. Everyone has a 3D TV on their wrist, and they travel around on uh, monorails like the one at Gatwick Airport. It's very futuristic. Um, it's set in the aftermath of a nuclear ratings war between two TV stations, one of which is based on Pluto. And uh, TV presenter Jack Jupiter has 24 hours to, to do something. I've not figured out what yet. Uh, but uh, the main thing is, each day is 10 hours long because they've gone metric on time. Um, and the diary industry is in turmoil, that's a subplot. But one rebel, Alec Parsons, is determined to return to a seven day week because it makes sense. So he goes back in time to the present to see what a week's like. That's a very good twist. Well, yeah, it is. And that's not the only... There are more twists. You need lots of twists these days. People expect them. A friend of mine told me that, and uh, he's a librarian. Can we look here? What? I was very low. I went to Legoland to think, you need a day. It was more than I could do to stop myself from kicking over a large Lego robot who, in my twisted mind, had become the chief commissioning editor of the BBC. I was depressed. I stared into the abyss. And then I saw a chaffinch in the summer sun pecking at a discarded beef burger. And I thought, he's not trying to throw himself off a cliff. And I just drove away. Stopped off at a place called Buffalo Bills. They've got old shell pumps on the wall and photos of a young Malcolm Brando from It's the Waterfront. And, as they say in America, I thought, the hell with it. And I just drove home, with the length of garden hose I had gaffer taped to the exhaust trailing behind me like a giant mouse. Why don't we leave the last question to Digital Dave? Okay. <laughs> Who are the faces to watch on television these days? Did you get I think that? I got that. Um, I've given this question a lot of thought, and I can honestly say I don't think there's anyone out there. Alan Partridge, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was good, that. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. I, 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 I like this bit. It's a bit like uh, that bit uh, on Melvin Bragg when he interviewed that, the lad with throat cancer. Harry, Harry Potter. Uh, Dennis. Dennis, Dennis Hopper, yes. The, uh, mm. I, I like the, this, this sort of keeping the mics on. It's very interesting mm. and, uh, and trendy. Yeah, cheers. Um, do you fancy a quick drink? Or, um... Is it, was it, uh, who's go, is it just, who's going, just you, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, There's a very no, good... No, I'll just go back to Norwich. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. See you around. I was told it was over there. Yeah, yeah.